Okay, here's this uh, little pulse motor that I showed in my last video that I had running on a little uh, watch battery. And I worked on this um, again and redid the circuit a little bit and uh, modified a few things. And I got it to run down uh, in the 150 microamp draw range. And uh, I upped the voltage to 3 volts so that I could use a super cap filled up. And I changed the coil to a uh, very fine wire, 45 gauge, with 1500 ohms resistance. And then I changed the resistance on the base of this uh, PNP transition to 1 meg ohm. And that's how I got this down to 150 microamp draw. And uh, anyone who's followed my work over the years, my quest has been efficiency in these pulse motors. Uh, not over unity or free energy or any of that. Just how efficient can you get something to move? Either uh, rotate or swing or do whatever. And uh, this was uh, the effort on this little pulse motor was how much power would it take to move that amount of mass? around in motion and like I say I've got this down to 150 microamps it's not super super great but it's really not bad considering the uh, speed of the rotor and uh, all that's involved with that right there and I've got this running on this super cap but you could run it on three volts like this and I've been studying a couple of videos where the guys are using um, couple of batteries that are lithium batteries that have a very very long shelf life and they're getting this amp draw down way 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 down and uh, making this go real slow and targeting many years of runtime on the energy stored in a couple of uh, lithium AA batteries and this is uh, the reason for this project was just to see if I could uh, head in that direction and get something to uh, run for a long, long time on uh, a small amount of energy. And this is one of these uh, needle motors. It's just got a, a needle as the pivot and it's just taped onto a tongue depressor stick. But that's just that two transistor complementary circuit. Uh, Dad have uh, worked a lot with it and then a few other guys have worked with this and I've been studying the uh, modification of that simple complementary transistor circuit. This was the original circuit that I uh, had in my last video that was running on the watch battery here uh, which was one and a half volts and I'm just using a ferric core coil that had a lot lower ohm rating on it and then a lot lower ohm rating on this and it wouldn't run that long before I had to recharge the little battery so I, I changed over to a a different scenario here to get the longer run time and this is just a jar lid with a brass screw on it there Let's see if I can get this back on here sometimes I can there we go and then um, spin this up and off she goes again now what was interesting about this, and one of the reasons I wanted to make the video was I can take this capacitor off. Watch this. If I spin this fast enough, there goes the light. And that's no capacitor until it spins down. So I've got like a generator effect here as well as a motor effect which was kind of interesting that I've got something else besides just a motor going on here and uh, that's possibly one of the reasons I've got such a long long run time. I've been running this for hours um, I haven't done a full rundown on it. Uh, I fill it up with about three volts and then just let it run but if if you do the math on what a 150 microamp draw would do on a couple of AA batteries, it would be many, many, many days. And like I say, what I'm studying are some of these guys that are getting that down so low that it would run for literally years on these uh, 
batteries that have a shelf life of many, many years. They've got these uh, AA batteries that have 10 year shelf life on them. And if you had a low enough microamp draw on a, a AA battery that had uh, multi year rating on it, you could have one of these pulse motors, probably under glass so the, the dust wouldn't affect it, and run it on sapphire bearings um, like Laser Saber has, has been doing and shown us how to do, and get one of these um, little pulse motors to run for years on uh, a couple of batteries that uh, had a long shelf life on them. So anyway, that's just what I've been up to. Uh, I've been busy with other things, but this is my microamp uh, pulse motor. And uh, I'm lid motor, and this is uh, March 4th already, 2017. Thanks for watching.